It doesn't seem like that Flynn character is around here. Does that mean you're staying with us for now? Well, I... Would that be all right? Carol, don't fill the princess's head with ideas. 
You cannot simply do as you wish. Your Highness must return to the capital. Flynn has already set out to tend to other business. Now then, Rita Mordio, we would like you to investigate yesterday's Blastia malfunction. That's pointless. I looked at him this morning, but I couldn't figure anything out. No, we would ask that you go to the forest of Cave Mock. Cave Mock, huh? Oh yeah, the plants affected by the disaster here look just like the ones in that forest. We have reports of tree mutations, and of monsters increasing in both number and aggressiveness. Messengers have gone to the capital, but much time will be wasted finding a gifted mage. I specialize in Blastia. Plants are out of my league. Consider that connection to the air. I imagine that is within your league. Besides, I... If Estelle is going back to the capital, I want to go with her. What do you mean? You are a researcher in an Imperial Blastia laboratory. You must undertake the tasks assigned to you. Um, then there should be no problem if I accompany her to the forest, right? Princess, please do not make suggestions that are simply out of the question. If this does have something to do with air, then my healing arts would prove useful. Yes, they would. Please, Alexei. Let me do my part to help. Your Highness, I simply cannot allow you to go to such a dangerous forest. Well, what if... Yuri, would you come with us? Me? If Yuri were to come, you wouldn't be worried, right? Young man, please escort the princess. I ask this of you only because you once sought to join the Imperial Knights. Of all the underhanded... I didn't ask anybody to count on me. You're pushing me into this. It seems I can take that reply as indication of your agreement. But there's something I have to do as well. We go to the forest after Dungrist. Very well. Your Excellency. It seems Flynn foresaw this outcome. Huh? He did what? He left this message for you. Take care of Her Highness. All right, then. It's the Forest of Cave Mock by way of Dongrest. I have a job for you. I'm glad that Commandant Alexei turned out to be so reasonable. Yeah, I thought he'd be more of a stubborn jerk myself. Had you met him before, Yuri? I knew him, but I doubt he knew me. I was barely in the Knights for any time at all, really. What sort of person is he, I wonder? He can be very formal at times, but in a way he's something of a symbol for the Knights. Many who are in the Knights now were inspired to join by Alexei's example. <laughs> One thing's clear, I don't have much in common with him.
Estelle, there's something I want to ask you. Yes, what is it? Wait! What's the matter? Could you repeat what you just said? I said, there's something I want to ask you. No, before that! Estelle? Yes, you finally called me Estelle. I've got to go tell everyone. Oh, well. <laughs> Feel like an easy win. Don't get careless. Honestly, that girl... Huh? Estelle. She rushes off regardless of danger. She doesn't listen when you tell her to stop. So Estelise has finally become Estelle, huh? I I've been calling her that for a while. What's with you anyway? Hey, you know, your tone of voice was different just then. Maybe it's just my imagination. You're damn right it is. Ah, there's the Rita we all know and love. Ha! Ow! How about you just shut up? Who cares what I say or how I sound? Not me. Here's to you being you, Rita. Hmm. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't let him trip you up. Yeah, we're done.
feel like an easy win. Don't get careless. Ha. Ha. We'll crush them all. I'll blow you away. Holy power, come to me. First aid. I found your weak spot. Holy flickering blaze, burn. Fireball. First aid. Holy power. Oh man. All right, all right. Flickering blaze burn! Fireball! 
Yeah, I beat you in the next... like an easy win. Don't get careless. You want revenge? Bring it! Rain is so gloomy. I wonder if it'll ever let up. Tolbikia is in the tropics, so it hardly ever stops raining here. You know, I read about Tolbikia in a book once. They say that all of the rainfall makes for an unusually high diversity of plants and animals. Who cares about that stuff? I'm with Rita. I was born and raised in Tolbikia, so this is nothing for me. Ah, okay. That makes perfect sense. A place like this suits a wishy-washy, gloomy person like yourself pretty well. Huh? Do I really seem that emo? Let's work together! We finished them off! I Everywhere. We'll crush them all. Holy power, come to me. First aid. 
It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Just getting warmed up. I feel this power inside me. My hometown! Looks like a pretty lively place. Well, it's the second largest city after the Imperial Capital. It's run entirely by the guilds. I thought it'd be more dark and dank, you know? Like a den of villains. That's just a prejudice people have about the guilds. I'm sure the bad reputation of the Blood Alliance is to blame for that. Yeah! Jeez, Yuri, you make it sound like I'm a villain. If you're a villain, what does that make him? Point taken. So, how should we go about tracking down Barbos? The best way is probably to stop by the Union and check there. The Union. A guild collective run by the five so-called Master Guilds, right? Yeah. The Union also serves as the city's government. But how is this gonna work? 
Isn't Barbos's Blood Alliance one of the five master guilds? Which means if we lay a hand on him, we'll be picking a fight with the Union as well. We won't know the answer to that until we ask the Dawn. The Dawn is the boss of the Union, isn't he? Yep. Dawn Whitehorse, leader of Altosk, the most powerful of the five master guilds. All right, let's go see what the Dawn has to say then. You know the way, right, Carol? Hey, wait. He's not the kind of person you can just meet. I don't really know if... Please? Union headquarters is in the north part of town.
Hey, what are you doing? What? Uh, n nothing. Hmm? Well, well, if it ain't little Carol. What the hell are you thinking coming back here? Hey, what's with you? Yeah, I don't see Nan. She already did you? <laughs> no way! She wouldn't stop nagging, so I took off. This would explain why Carol wasn't too eager to go to Dongrist. So are you the latest guild to take him in? You could do a lot better than that, loser. All this kid can brag about is the number of guilds he's joined. Oh, right. That's a bad thing. Are these your friends, Carol? You can do a lot better than these losers. W what did you say? Such undignified men! Shut up! You sure have a way of saying things. I mean, you're right, but... Yeah, you just keep talking. Damn it! They're back again! Come on! The alarm! Monsters are here! Monsters? Oh, wait, is this shaking the monsters' footsteps? If so, they've brought quite an army. Yeah, but don't worry. Even if there have been a lot of monsters around here lately, our barrier here is strong. And it's never been broken before. And the guilds take care of the monsters outside the barrier. Huh? Oh, crap! The barrier... disappeared? What the hell is going on? The monsters are gonna get inside! Damn it, why do things like this always happen to me, no matter where I go? You gotta be cursed. Maybe. Yuri, we have to go stop the monsters. There's more coming. Why are there so many? Damn it! It's just one right after the other. Let's eliminate them! Come on, you filthy 
you maggots. I'll take the lot of you. Come see how it feels to get beat down by an old man. That old guy is really going after him. Who the hell is he? It's the Don! That's Don Whitehorse! So that's him, huh? It's the Don! The Don's here! Let's kick this monster scum out of here! Defend the city! Nobody messes with the clouds of dawn! Flynn! We've come to help subdue the monsters! Hold your horses, night boy. We couldn't live with ourselves if we let the knights do our dirty work. Now get the hell out of here! Is this really the time for that? Each and every one of these people left the Empire of their own free will and joined a guild. <laughs> there ain't a soul in this town so spineless they go running to you guys for help. But... These are the rules of the life we've chosen. It's up to us to make sure those rules don't get broken. Holding to your beliefs no matter what's at stake. So that's what a real guild is like. Hey, you there! Lead the way! I have a name, you know! Where are we going, anyway? We're going to repair the barrier, Blastia. If we don't, the city will be overrun with monsters. You're coming, too. Guess that's my only option. The barrier failed right as the monsters appeared? What the hell is going on in this city? I've lived in Dongress my whole life, but I've never seen anything like this. So why the hell do we have such terrible timing? How should I know? What? You don't really think I'm cursed, do you? to do something with this. Rita, watch out! Behind you! We won't let you fix the barrier! What the hell? It's just one thing after another! I'm sick of this! Let's eliminate them! Destroying a barrier, but that's... We have to repair the Blastia quickly. Hey, I learned something. Looks like we have those guys to thank for the barrier Blastia failing on us. But why? Looks like you've got your hands full over here. So the Don's little lecture didn't stick? I'm just doing what I can to help. How's the repair of the Barrier Blastia going? That'll depend on our genius mage here. Mm, the core is still there. They just fiddled with your formula a bit and stopped it, didn't they? What the... The 
this is an amplifier? And this formula again. The same as they were using back on Emid Hill. The barrier disappeared when the monsters attacked. It can't be a coincidence that they happened at the same time, can it? Probably not. So does your appearance here mean this is tied up with all the Empire's problems? I don't know. That's why I came here to check things out. That goes there, and this goes here. That's our Rita. All right, time to clean up the monsters outside the barrier. The guilds won't be able to complain if we fight monsters outside the city. We'll leave the monsters to Flynn. Let's go to the Union and ask about Barbos. You really trust Flynn, don't you? Only because there's no one else I can trust. That's how I look at it. Yuri, I don't get you sometimes. Dongress has a very different atmosphere from the capital, doesn't it? The city seems so energetic. Everyone here is so full of life. Of course! It's the largest guild city. Everyone lives according to their own principles. Do you like Dongress, Estelle? Yes, I think it's lovely. What about you, Yuri? Hmm? I think it'd be a really great city if the barrier wasn't crapping out. Yuri, will you please let that go? I'm kidding. The city's not bad at all. It even feels kind of like the lower quarter. How many guilds are there in this city? I don't know the exact number, but I think there are more than a hundred. Whoa, that many? Are all of them in the Union? Oh, nah, not all of them, but I guess around 90% of them are Union members. Wow, and the Don's at the top of them all. That guy's amazing. That's why he's the Don! What are you so proud about? The Don's the amazing one, not you.
What about the person who controls the Union? What is Don Whitehorse like? In a word, big. Big voice, big body, big everything. We already know what he looks and sounds like. We saw him, remember? Oh yeah, that's right. Well, he's a really cool person. Does that answer your question, Estelle? It's clear that Carol has a lot of respect for the Don. But that's about the only thing that's clear. He's so cool that it can't be expressed in words! We'll just leave it at that then. We need to talk to the Don about something. Help us out, could you? It's a matter that concerns the five master guilds. I haven't seen you around here recently. What guild do you belong to? We don't belong to a guild exactly. Unfortunately, the Don has left town in pursuit of the monsters. He went after the monsters? Yes. He plans on taking out the monster nests in one fell swoop. I see. Thanks for the information. No worries. If I went and helped them, I could prove myself to the Dawn. Oh well, shall we go look for that information in town? What? We're not going to help the Dawn? So you know where the monster nests are then? Oh, well, good point. Since it seems like you won't be making progress anytime soon, I'm gonna go check out Cave Mock. How selfish! I just want to get it out of the way as soon as possible. Then does that mean Estelle's going along with you? Yes. I told Alexei I was going to go after all. Don't worry. We'll be fine between the two of us. Sorry, afraid not. If you got hurt or anything, Flynn would hunt me down and kill me. You're gonna go, Yuri? Well, we don't really have any good leads around town that we're following anyway. Then it's decided. Let's go to the forest of Cave Mock. Going to Cave Mock, are they? What a coincidence. Come to think of it, why was Flynn and Dawn Grest? The Empire and the Union have never gotten along, so knights don't show up here often. I doubt they're here to see the sights, either. It's gotta be tied up in one of their duties. Do you think Flynn's alright? Those guild people were being really mean to him. Flynn's no delicate little flower. He can take some heat. Don't forget, before he was a knight, he had to make it on the streets of the lower quarter. I hope you're right.
I won't lose! Yeah. A flickering blaze burn! Oh. Fireball! A flickering blaze burn! Oh. Fireball! Wonderful! A flickering blaze It'll be a hundred years before you can be... I had no idea trees this big existed. Yeah, but it doesn't exactly look healthy for them to be this overgrown. It's just like you said, Carol. It's like what happened at Heliord when the Blastia went berserk. Be careful! There's somebody here. Hey, what a coincidence! What the hell are you doing in a place like this? You know, out for a forest stroll, taking in the nature. Something smells fishy. What? Where's my welcome? You didn't think we'd honestly be glad to see you, right? Ah, you don't mean that. I can come in handy, you know. You're not thinking of coming with us, right? Of course! It's lonely being out here all by my lonesome. What? No dice? You'd better watch your back. If you try anything funny, you're dead. Hey, you don't really think my story stinks that bad, do ya? Yeah, the stench is sort of coming off you in waves. Really? <laughs> I can't take responsibility for what I'll do if you make any sudden moves. Don't forget that. there's not much point in bringing it up again, but this guy's really fishy. Yeah, how long's he planning to stick with us anyway? Does he even have a good reason for being in Cave Mock? You heard him, old man. Spit it out. Huh? I'm gonna stick with you guys as long as need be. And as for my reasons, I thought I told you. I'm on a mission of self-discovery. You said you were out for a forest stroll, taken in the nature. Oh, I did? If I had a memory that bad, I'd want to find myself too. There you go. Really fishy. Really, really, really fishy. You don't scare me. Now this is my style. Windblade! Eight! Style of Wavering Dungeon! 
There's no challenge at all. Let me add up! Can't just fuck up! Don't mind me. Do whatever you came to do. What should we do about him? Do you know any tricks that'll convince us you're worth keeping around? Do I look like some kind of street magician to you? Hey, you! Come here a second. What? M me? Huh? What do you want with Carol? Ah! Don't just leave me here! Show him what for, kid! Why me? Okay, this isn't funny anymore! Should be any minute now. You just wait for him to let their guard down, give him a little poke, and then BAM! Geez, I bet you're great at parties. I suppose that was good enough. Really? Yes. All right. Hey, you mean I passed? I can stay? Uh, are you kidding? It'll be much easier to do things to him if we keep him nearby. What do you mean, things? Hadn't thought about that. 
Okay, I just got a little chill up my spine. Well then, Mr. Raven, after you. Heh, <laughs> right. Yeah, I guess we'll fight. Wow, Carol, when you freak out, you really freak out. Come on, everyone has a few things they're afraid of, don't they? Not me. Now, now, genius mage, it's not nice to lie. Even old Raven's got his own fears. What are you afraid of, old man? I'm afraid of pretty girls. What? Yeah, yeah. Rita, it's better to come clean. That way we can help you out. Like anyone needs your help. I can take care of myself just fine. Her type always has some of the worst fears. Yeah, whatever.
And I'm dead. Yeah, you like to overdo it. Don't come after us! Like an easy win. Don't get the cocky. ever end? It just did. Huh? Thank you! Thank you! Yeah! Ha! 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 Yeah! Ha!
Toronto cry of victory. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Just hear a voice? I wonder where you're taking me, matey. I've heard that voice before. Patty? What? Is she a friend of yours? We've got to help her! Yeah, yeah, just leave it to me. He hit it! Yeah? So you're still looking for Eifried's treasure? Eifried? Aye! Yeah, right. Treasure in a place like this? Who gave you that load of crap? The Map Making Guild! World Seller tells me all sorts of things. After all, those lads travel all around the world. Is that why you went to Rago's mansion too? But there wasn't anything there, right? No, but a story that's 100% believable is all the more fishy. Hmm, I suppose that's true. Except that you're 100% fishy. Hey, no need to be mean now. Anyway, I've got to get back to my treasure hunting. If you keep wandering around all alone, you'll get attacked by monsters again. That monster didn't attack me. We were playing together. I don't think the monster saw it that way. Patty, behind you! <laughs> I guess that means she'll be fine on her own. Will you come with me? I appreciate the offer, but treasure hunting will have to wait until another day. It's an awful shame, but nonetheless, I must go. Farewell! She's gone! Is she really gonna be okay? She said she'll be fine, so yeah, why not? I hope you're right. Still, it's not like worrying's gonna change anything. Come on, let's get going. 